Ideogram AI just dropped their new model, Ideogram 2.0. And trust me, it's aiming to go toe to toe with the big guys like Midjourney and even the recently launched Flux AI. So let's talk about it. Okay, so here's the deal. Ideogram AI just unveiled their latest and greatest, Ideogram 2.0, and this isn't just some minor update. We're talking about a whole new level of image generation that's designed to compete with the best of the best. Now, Ideogram has always been kind of like that underdog in the AI space, you know, the one that's always been good, but maybe hasn't gotten as much attention as it deserves. But with this new release, they're looking to change all that. One of the biggest things Ideogram 2.0 is bringing to the table is a serious upgrade in realism. Like if you're into creating images that look super lifelike, this is definitely something you'll want to check out. And it's not just about photorealism. They've also added a bunch of new features and presets that make it easier to create exactly what you're envisioning, whether that's a sleek 3D render, an anime style character, or a detailed graphic design with some killer text. Now, to really appreciate what Ideogram 2.0 is doing here, we gotta take a quick look at the landscape. Over the past few months, we've seen a ton of developments in the AI image generation space. Flux One just launched and is now the go-to generator for Grok on X. Flux One is making some serious moves and solidifying its place in the market, right alongside other heavy hitters like Stable Diffusion, XL, Auraflow, Quicolors, and Hunyuan. So yeah, the competition is fierce, and it feels like every other week there's a new player trying to grab our attention. But here's the kicker. Ideogram 2.0 isn't just trying to compete, it's aiming to outperform. In their official announcement, Ideogram straight up said that their new model is outshining the competition in several key areas like image text alignment, how well the images match the prompts, and even how accurately it can render text within the images. And if you've played around with AI image generation, before, you know how tricky that last part can be. Text rendering has always been a bit of a weak spot for most models, but not anymore, it seems. All right, let's break down the cool stuff Ideogram 2.0 is offering. They've introduced five presets that make it super easy to get the style you want. First, there's the realism preset, which makes your images look incredibly lifelike, like they were snapped with a camera. Then the design preset is perfect for graphic design, ensuring your text and visuals are spot on, no more weird glitches. The 3D preset is all about giving your images a polished, computer-generated look. Anime fans will love the anime preset, which nails that manga-style vibe. And finally, there's the general purpose preset. This one's your go-to for just about anything. It's versatile and can adapt to whatever kind of prompt you throw at it, making it a great starting point for any creative project you have in mind. So yeah, these presets are a game changer, especially if you're not into spending hours fine tuning your prompts. But that's not all. They've also introduced a color palette control. Now this is super cool because it lets you dial in the exact colors you want in your images. Whether you're trying to match a brand's color scheme or just have a specific vibe in mind, you've got a lot more control over the final product. All right, let's talk a bit more about that realism preset because honestly, this is where Ideogram 2.0 really flexes its muscles. One of the big selling points here is how lifelike the images can be. We're talking about textures that look like you can reach out and touch them and human features like skin and hair that are incredibly detailed. This is something that's gonna be a huge draw for people who need realistic images, but maybe don't have the time or skills to create them from scratch. But realism isn't just about making things look real, it's also about making things look right, you know, and that's where the improved image text alignment comes in. With the new model, what you type is pretty much what you get. The model is way better at understanding the nuances of your prompts and generating images that match your vision. This is a big deal because let's face it, we've all had those moments where the AI just doesn't get what we're asking for. Ideogram 2.0 aims to eliminate those frustrating moments. And here's something that really caught my attention, text rendering. If you've used AI image generators before, you know that getting decent text in your images can be a nightmare. You might type out a simple phrase and the model gives you some weird jumbled mess of letters, but this model, not so much. They've really improved how the model handles text, making it a solid option for anyone who needs images with clear, readable text, whether it's for a social media post, a design project, or even just something fun. Also, they've released a brand new iOS app, and don't worry, Android users, they've got an app coming for you soon too. They've also launched a beta version of their API, which means you can now build with Ideogram 2.0's tech. 
bringing high quality image generation into whatever project you're working on. And to be honest, their API pricing is super competitive. Oh, and before I forget, they've also introduced something called Ideogram Search. This lets you browse through over a billion images that users have generated with Ideogram over the past year. So if you're ever stuck for inspiration, you've now got an entire library of creative work to browse through and spark some new ideas. Now, let's talk about the experience of actually using Ideogram 2.0 because there are a few things you'll want to know before diving in. First off, the freemium model. Ideogram 2.0 is free to use, but with some limitations. If you're on the free plan, you can generate up to 20 images a day, split into five batches of four images each. That's a pretty decent amount if you're just dabbling or working on smaller projects. But if you're a power user, you might want to consider upgrading to one of their paid plans. They start at $8 per month, which gets you more flexibility and a higher image cap. And if you're really serious about your image generation, there's an unlimited slow generations plan for $20 per month. That's pretty competitive, especially when you compare it to something like Mid Journey, where you're looking at $10 for the basic plan and $30 for unlimited slow generations. So yeah, Ideogram is positioning itself as a more affordable alternative, but it's not just about the price. The user experience is designed to be super intuitive, especially if you're not a fan of the more technical prompt engineering style you might be used to with other tools. With Ideogram 2.0, the focus is on making things as simple as possible without sacrificing quality, which is a big win for anyone who's more interested in the creative process than the technical details. Now let's see how Ideogram 2.0 holds up against the newer models like Flux 1, which has been getting attention through its integration into Grok on X. Well, from the initial tests and user feedback that's been trickling in, it looks like Ideogram 2.0 is holding its own pretty well. In fact, when you use the realism preset, it seems to match the performance of Flux 1, which is impressive considering how much buzz Flux 1 has been generating. If you're all about personalization, Midjourney still has the edge with its customization features, but Ideogram 2.0 is no slouch either. The new color palette control and the various presets give you a ton of creative freedom without needing to dive into complex prompt engineering or use additional tools like style transfer or LoRa's. So it really comes down to what you value more, ease of use and affordability or deep customization and power features. So is Ideogram 2.0 worth it? Definitely. It's easy to use, delivers high quality results, and is affordable. With improvements in realism, better text rendering, and features like color palette control, it's a strong contender in AI image generation. Plus, with the new iOS app, developer API, and ideogram search, it's a versatile tool for both pros and newcomers. Whether you're deep into AI art or just exploring, Ideogram 2.0 is worth a look. It could become your go-to creative tool. All right, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest and greatest in tech and AI. And hey, if you've tried out Ideogram 2.0, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.